Hello, St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for tuning into this week's video with me, Father Chris. I'm up here on the scaffolding. I have a purpose for it. I wanted to give everyone a sneak peek, but while the scaffolding is still up, please don't climb on the scaffolding. We are still wanting everybody to be safe while we're here. They're making phenomenal progress on the installation of our artwork, and we are on schedule. So that means by Palm Sunday, all of this will be down, and we'll be able to see the totality of, these, of this sacred art and... Uh, and use it to celebrate and draw more deeply into the sacred mysteries and the holy sacrifice of the mass. So, before I give you a little sneak peek, let's start first saying, here's the saint's eye view. So this is what the saints on the wall would see, right, from their position in the scaffolding view of the church. So, yes, we're pretty high up there. <laughs> so it's pretty neat to be able to, to see. So, what I wanted to show you, spoiler warning, by the way, if you don't want anything spoiled, now's your chance to click away uh, or stop the video. What I wanted to show you just a little bit is our image of St. Mary Magdalene, our patroness. I just I love the way she's portrayed. Notice she's looking up. She's in a posture of kneeling. It's hard to see. There's more of hers below this panel of scaffolding. We'll show that in a minute. But... I love just her serenity, her contemplative look as she's looking towards Christ crucified. So she is the saints on, this is the Mary side of the wall. She's closest to the crucifixion. And we did this deliberately because she was present at Christ's crucifixion. So of all the saints, she's one of the two that are the closest to our Lord while he's on the cross. Let's take a look at the rest of her. Notice as well, she's kneeling. And she's holding a bottle of ointment, the same bottle that she would use to anoint the feet of our Lord before he died. So very much making that offering of herself and just that beautiful conversion. I just wanted to share that with you. I'm really excited and very pleased to see that it's gone up. Uh, thank you to New Jerusalem Studios and all of your workers and artisans that have helped get us to this point. And uh, thank you for keeping them in your prayers as well uh, to, our, to all of us here at St. Mary Magdalene. So truly, I'm, I'm excited. The whole rest of this is just, I've been walking in and seeing progress reports throughout the week and I've, I, I stop. I'm speechless and just so overwhelmed. And I can't wait to share it with you all on Palm Sunday. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, during these final weeks of Lent, we pray for the grace of perseverance in our disciplines. That those things, and these mortifications that we undertake may give us the grace of deeper conversion. That we may yearn for you more zealously in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions. So that at Easter our hearts may then be filled with the joy of the resurrection and the new life that you desire to pour out upon us. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a great week, and I'll see you on Sunday.